These people who put up lie after lie after lie after lie and then hold themselves up as a paragon of virtue. Well, you know, Sam Vaknin needs to, he needs to get, what is, what is the biggest award that anyone could ever receive by any, what is it? The Nobel Peace Prize? Well, I don't know what it is. But Sam Vaknin needs to get this award. I, I'm telling you. This is all pure projection. Lie after lie after lie. This woman has started a seven-year smear campaign on me. She has come out here and told everyone her own disciple was crazy when she was the one who was supposedly a guru and should have known better to then to tell her to get spirits out of crystals. Okay? Lie after lie after lie after lie and hold themselves up to be the paramount of virtue. This is all projection, and I hope you guys see this. And let me just say one thing. I only heard a third of this crap. She doesn't know anything about Jesus. Because if she did, she would not be promoting any demon as a goddess. Okay? But here's what Jesus did say about the church. The church. I would, I would really suggest and recommend that everybody go read the book of Revelations. And see what Jesus said about the church. No, Jesus didn't start a religion, but he sent his apostles out to start the religions. To start the churches. To build up the churches. It is man-made, just like I've been saying all along. Jezebel has taken over the church. Nobody said this was going to be easy. This is why you have to go and put your face in the Bible. And you will never believe another demon like that tarot demon ever again. Jesus reads your mind and heart. Yes, that's true. And But Jesus will also know that when you were told over and over again that divination was absolutely an abomination before God and you continue to do it, well, he knows what your heart is. And he knows what your mind is. And he knows who your father is. And he knows where you're going. Okay? She is causing everyone out here to sin. And putting everyone's eternal life in jeopardy. And that's really all that needs to be said. She can sit there and make excuses after excuses after excuses. And the only thing that I'm going to tell you. Because you're going to hear it constantly repeated from her. She is the only one who knows anything. And everybody else is wrong and everybody else is a con man and everybody else is evil and angry and everybody else is out to get her because when these narcs get cornered they become um, the victims they become the victims okay this is typical Sam Vaknin teaching you're watching it play out in real time this is typical Sam Vaknin teaching going on right here okay so what I would like to tell you from what I know about deliverance and what I know about trying to deliver myself from these demons is that Jesus Christ was God on earth. Of course he said, be gone and they left. Of course that's what happened to him. We are not God on earth. We have the power of the Holy Spirit. We have, we have been given the, the power through Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, to deliver others from demons. But uh, no one ever said it was going to be easy. No one ever said it was going to be easy. And there's a lot of things involved that she doesn't know about. Okay? Um, some people actually come, come to like being with their demons. Some people actually come to like their demons and don't really want them to leave. There's other people that still need to break generational curses, need to break oaths, need to break contracts. So this is what the demon slayers have to find out through the course of telling these demons to get out. Some of these deliverances last six, seven hours. So she absolutely does not know what she's talking about. She's making a total ass out of herself as usual. And Sam Vaknin needs to get the highest award that this whole entire earth gives people. Because, man, he's nailed it. A thousand times he's nailed it. Of course he's nailed it. Because she is just like him. Do you understand? You guys really need to 
All, all I could say is educate yourself. And you know what? It really doesn't matter because once you, once you start understanding the Bible and understand what Jesus commanded all of us to do, it, it's not about dogma. It's not about rituals in a church. That's what she's trying to promote with her goddess, Kali. Okay? It's not about that. It's about the word of God in the Bible. It's about the word of God. Once you start understanding and reading the word of God and you know what it is, you will never fall for demon liars like her ever again. And this I can promise you because she will stand out like a sore thumb. The red flags will be going off like crazy. Once you start reading the word and you understand what God has commanded for us, you will never fall victim to these people ever again. You've got to read the Bible. So, um... This woman has called me every name in the book and you know I almost feel sad because it seems like anyone that I have praise for anyone that I have respect for she is going to attack because God, I can't I can't be anything positive out here because she has determined along with Nithya and Ananda that they are going to make sure that everybody looks down on me the truth of the matter is they are the people who are the criminals and the abusers and I've been saying this for the past seven years. Sam Vaknin also talked about this. Maybe a lot of you, if you're still following her, you are trauma bonded, number one, because she is a malignant narcissist, type two psychopath. You are trauma bonded to her. Therefore, the veil is over your eyes. You believe everything she says, sadly for you. Although I understand, I was you at one point. But you, in order for you to heal, in order for you to do anything, you need to uh, move away from her and wake up. And uh, what I will tell you is the end times are here. There's not much time to waste. So you all better think real hard about where you want to spend eternity. And that really is all there is to say about this.